who bear strong family resemblance to Jesus Christ. Those who he justified, he also glorified. So Dr. Brown never thought he'd be the poster boy for healthy eating. I never thought in a million years I would actually be a grandfather. <laughs> not, yeah, not that I didn't think I would make it, but when you're young, you just don't really think you'll get older. But you do. <laughs> I remember when Scott Brown went over in a prayer meeting and I was trying to start class because I was behind on my lectures as usual. And I'm like, Lord, you have 10 more minutes. And we'll start at 10, uh, at 12.10. We started at noon in those days. And um, we got out of there at 4.45. God just showed up, uh, just exploded like a bomb in that place. People were screaming for the fear of the Lord, and there was worship intermittently with testimonies that were occurring right there in the midst of, of, of that one meeting. Testimony, more worship, testimony, more worship. It was awesome. I remember one time I had to get up in chapel to give announcements, which everybody complained about, that we had to have announcements, but we still had to do it. So I thought I would be cute and have as my first announcement that Jesus was coming back. And so I just gave my first announcement. First of all, Jesus is coming back. And then yeah, Richard was there for that one. The place just erupted. And we went cheering for the next, whatever, 10 to 20 minutes because Jesus was coming back. It's like the revival atmosphere is like a room filled with oxygen. Don't light even a small match. You never know what will happen. It's really a privilege and an honor and a joy to minister and to be together in an atmosphere like that. I hold those memories very fondly. But the thing that God put on my heart to share is this. The way of the righteous is like the light of dawn. And it shines brighter and brighter yeah. until the full day. Yeah. It's not just a cliche. Amen. It's true. It's not just to encourage the heart that are tired, that's tired by sentimentality. It's the truth. The best is yet to come. Whatever God did in the past, as extraordinary, unique, wonderful, even indescribable, as much as those days were filled with glory in the past, they were deposits for what God is doing now and in the future. God loves to visit his people with revival, but he loves it even more when his people embody the revival and take it wherever they go. God's eternal purpose has not changed. It's explicit. One of my favorite chapters in the Bible, which is Romans chapter 8, God's eternal plan is to have a people who bear strong family resemblance to Jesus Christ. Those who he justified, he also glorified. God wants an incandescent people to burn and blaze with glory. Listen, Jesus died for our sins. This is the heart and soul of the gospel. God bless you, Ms. Kirill.